Hey there, Jessica. I just wanted to show you some laundry hacks that will save you time and frustration. So I am a mom of five kids, been doing laundry now for 16 years. My oldest is almost 17. So I feel like I have finally kind of mastered this laundry thing. So I'm just going to share with you a few of my laundry tips. Ready? Here we go. Okay, tip number one, everybody gets a basket. So these baskets are for the clean clothes. So you're going to want to make sure everybody has the clean basket ready to go for all the clothes that come out. And then we have a basket. This is the basket for my husband and I. Now you can beautify this however you want. My laundry room was not beautified yet. So however you want to make it pretty. So that's tip number one. Everybody gets a basket where their clean clothes are going to go. Tip number two, everybody gets a color-coded hanger. So you can see that we have different colors here. So these kids' hangers are for my youngest and then my next. Those reddish ones, I don't know why they're in there. Then we have black for my next daughter. Then this orangish red color for my next. My son gets the gray and then mom and dad get the hodgepodge of random colors. That's tip number two. Okay, tip number three is that clothes do not come out of the dryer unless they are going into one of the baskets or they're being hung up. So each kid also has a designated place in the laundry room where their clothes are going to be hung up. I want you to keep in mind that Laundry will actually go faster if you're not just pulling it out of the dryer and putting it in a big heap. That becomes so overwhelming. When we are overwhelmed, we freeze and we get stuck and we don't do things. So I found the best way to do this is I bring my phone into the laundry room with me and or my laptop if I'm working on something bigger. So use this time to listen to podcasts, audiobooks. Um, your favorite music and playlist, whatever you want. So just plan to be in the laundry room when you are doing your laundry. That's what I found is the best solution. So nothing comes out of my dryer without being hung up or going into the designated basket. That's tip number three. Okay, next tip. I think this is tip number four. Tip number five? Can't remember. Anyways, now I choose not to fold most of the time. They come straight out of the out of the dryer, nice and de-wrinkled, and then I will put them into their designated baskets. Sometimes they're folded a little bit, sometimes they're not. That is then up to the child's decision to decide if they want them folded in their drawer. So this makes it much easier and much quicker for mom in the laundry room. So when it comes time for the kids to put away their laundry, they only have two things to take with them. They have their basket that's full, and then they have their clothes that are hanging up, and they know exactly which one is theirs because their basket has a spot on the shelf in the right order. Their laundry stuff is on the hanger in the right spot, so everybody knows where their things are based on the order of where their home is for their basket and their clothes. So that makes it so much easier regardless if mom's doing laundry or dad's doing laundry or one of the kids is doing laundry. We all know where everything goes because everything has a home. So that makes it so much easier. Okay, so tip number five, have a place where lost socks go. So inevitably, you're always going to have a random sock floating around in your load. So have a place where those go so they don't get even more lost. So here in my laundry room, I actually have a string. Let me show you. I can probably show you. See, look right behind me. So I have a string hanging up where my um, hangers go, where the lost socks go. So the nice thing about that is whenever there's lost socks, I clip them up there. And then as we're going through more loads, when that other pair to the sock shows up, you grab it and it's there ready to go. And then also as they sit there over time, you may notice weeks and weeks going by with this sock not having a pair. That's when you turn them into sock puppets or you just simply throw them away. So that's a nice um, place to be able to match up your socks. Okay, and tip number six is in your laundry room. So especially if your laundry room is downstairs, like where a lot of your activity goes on in your house, then you wanna have a catch-all basket. So I have a basket in my laundry room 
where it's basically, it's primarily used for rags. So like kitchen rags, cleaning rags, they go in there. Um, that way they're not getting mixed in with the rest of the clothes. And then towels go in there as the kids are done using them. Um, but you can also have either the same basket or a second basket where you would put random clothes. So we have a downstairs bathroom that a couple of my kids like to use sometimes when they're all showering at the same time. And so oftentimes their dirty clothes will just get dumped into the laundry room on the floor because they're too lazy to walk them upstairs. So I have another basket in here where the kids can throw those clothes. So their jackets at the end of the day can go in there when they're ready to be cleaned, socks that we find around the house, just random clothes, blankets, things that kind of you don't want to have them in the same bucket as the rags because the rags could get stinky and you don't want your clothes stinky. So that is tip number six. Have catch-all baskets in the laundry room, one for rags, one for random catches. Okay, so for the final tip, I thought I'd bring you to my closet. So this is where we sort the laundry. So each kid has the laundry basket in their own bathroom, in their own, excuse me, each kid has a laundry basket in their own bedroom where their dirty clothes go. Then when it's chore day, they take their laundry basket and they bring it into my closet where I have baskets. So you can see behind me, I have several laundry baskets. So the, this is what we do. We pre-sort. When they come in on Saturday with their dirty basket, then they can then sort them into each basket. That way, when it's come time to do the laundry, you just grab the basket that's already sorted and you take it downstairs to the laundry room. So that's the way that we like to do it. So the clothes are already sorted. It's one less step to do on laundry day. Um, if you want to go a step further than that, you can even pre-treat them. So you can take these baskets downstairs to your laundry room individually, spray them, stick them back in the basket until it's their turn to get in the laundry room. Now, I don't really recommend doing that for a really long time. Like I probably wouldn't do that on Monday and then do laundry like on Friday. If you're going to pre-treat them, I would pre-treat them the same day that you're doing laundry or if not the day before. But it is kind of nice to just sit there and just go through all the baskets at one time. Just treat it, put it back in, treat it, put it back in. And then when you are putting laundry into the washing machine, you're literally just dumping it into the washing machine because I don't know about you, but I need to pre-treat most of my laundry because my kids are messy. So hopefully these tips are helpful for you. If you like these tips or if you have any better ideas, any good tips, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to know if you have any good ideas that we can add to our list. If you found something that's helpful, be sure to click the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell so you'll be notified every time I add a new video. Thanks. We'll catch you later. Bye.